This is a Beofeng DR1802U for uniform. Now, this radio may look familiar to you, particularly if you've seen my previous video on the Beofeng BF1802L. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the description of this one. But the BF1802L, they're absolutely identical. Okay, in the form factor, the screen, the batteries are interchangeable and uh, therefore the charger is the same and so on. Now the BF1802L, this one here, it's that's a dual band um, analog uh, VHF and UHF handheld radio with a colour screen. Put that out of the way for a moment. This dr 1802 U, however, is an analog FM and DMR radio. Now, although the casing is identical, as I said, to the uh, BF1802, this is not a dual band radio. This is UHF only. The specification shows it covers uh, between 400 and 470 megahertz both on DMR and FM modes. It's got a claimed RF output of five watts. We'll test that in a later video. It's got a fairly small color screen. I'll just switch the radio on. You'll see it boot up here. Similar, very similar screen to the uh, BF1802. Uh, it can be programmed from the keypad which is just as well because the programming software is extremely difficult to find. So um, that does come in useful. It's not supplied with any software. My radio was uh, supplied with a programming lead. And um, I'll also uh, look at which other Bayafeng programming leads fit this radio. But we'll try and find some software so we can program it up using the computer. The price of this radio for what it is, is surprisingly high. Uh, this one came to me from China at just under 50 UK pounds all in. It seems quite a lot for a single band Chinese radio. I couldn't find it any cheaper than that. And at the time of making this video, it's um, September uh, 2024 this, this seems to be a relatively new model and i'll show you the information on the bayafeng website about the dr1802 it does refer to it as a new model now what we do get with the radio is of course the charging base which is the same as the bf1802 base battery antenna i had the programming lead and uh, a manual the manual isn't bad and uh, I've managed to program a couple of channels into this using the information in the manual and uh, we'll just uh, look at the menu system for a moment with this radio. Let's see it boots, hello Beofeng. Okay and um, if we hit the menu button here we've got the pretty much standard uh, Beofeng DMR uh, style menu. And we can see the menu we've got contacts message call or scan zone if we go into settings we've got some uh, microphone settings there we can set power level backlight brightness tone vox encryption uh, this the um, advertisements for this radio make a lot out of the um, encryption capabilities of it they're not really of any interest to us um, in amateur radio. I mean, the last time I looked at my license in the UK, um, transmitting encrypted messages wasn't legal. But quite apart from that, um, you know, as radio amateurs, we want to be able to uh, contact as many people as possible. I really don't see the point of uh, encryption. Let's go back into the menu.
we've got a, a specific uh, program menu function here where we can uh, program a channel if we go to the I can't get down there okay we can program the details into the radio I've got my DMR ID and so on and then the channel function we obviously um, put in our frequency the name we want the channel um, RX and TX subcodes that would be for an analog channel channel spacing and that's it just look at spacing and you've got two options there Radio Alpha Yankee, November 7, Alpha Papa Whiskey. okay Jerry very good copy very good copy <laughs> Uh, I like that because you have also next to ham radio, you also have. Uh... GW0 KIG test, one two test, one two test, one two three test, hello, one two, one two.